please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. That really helps me out. If you don't like the video, just click away. Don't dislike it, that's rude. Hey guys, it's Brooke. And as you can see, we're in a different location right now. And that's because for my video today, I'm gonna be showing you guys my skincare routine. I'll tell you what steps I do every single day or what steps I only do once or twice a week. But this is pretty much how I go from a full glam to no makeup and clean skin. But before we get into it, like I say in all my videos, if you're new here, hi, I'm Brooke and welcome to my channel. I put out beauty related videos twice a week. If that's something you're interested in, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. If that's something you're not interested in, I don't care and this channel is not for you. So with that being said, let's get right on into the video. So obviously my first step is going to be taking off makeup and how I remove my makeup is with this, which is the Pond's Cold Cream Makeup Remover. Um, and you basically just put it on like you would any type of moisturizer and then you use a washcloth to wipe it off. So I just take about this much and it'll be enough for my whole entire face. And I love this. I love this stuff a lot. It's way better than any type of makeup wipe. I have eyelashes on still. It's way better than any type of makeup wipe because it's better for the environment, but it's also really easy on your skin. I have really sensitive skin and I find out makeup wipes will just, I don't know, they burn and I have to rub really hard, but basically all my makeup is already off and that was what, like 10 seconds, not even. So then you just take a washcloth or any type of cloth really and you put warm water on it and once you have it wet you're just going to go ahead and very softly wipe and it'll just take off your makeup. So the only thing that this um, remover doesn't take off really well is waterproof mascara or a like pressed pigment. I, I wasn't wearing any pressed pigments today, I was just wearing regular eyeshadow so I kind of don't even need to do this stuff but I'm going to show it to you because I do have some eye makeup on still as you can see some mascara. So I take this oil cleanser and it is, I don't even know what it is, I got it as a gift. It is a truffle therapy cleansing oil and you mix it together and I just put a little bit on the cotton swab and if I don't have this I will just use baby oil works the same and then that'll take off all the excess mascara I do it in my eyebrows as well because the benefit cabral is sometimes really difficult to get off and then I just kind of give one little swoop around my face to make sure all the makeup is off. Next, since I don't like to leave any excess oil on my skin, I use a micellar water and a cotton swab to just go across my whole face to make sure one last time that all the makeup is off and that all the oil is kind of off as well. So that's what I do every single night to take off my makeup and clean my face. I um, also wash my face in the shower every morning, but I don't really wash my face at night. I just kind of do that and then that's it. But then um, twice a week I exfoliate and once a week I do a face mask. So the exfoliator I'm using, I just actually have a sample of it. I just had it in this Ziploc bag because it was too much for me to use at one time. This exfoliator is by um, Wei China Herbal Beauty. Um, and it is the brown sugar ready glow exfoliating mask, but you can pretty much do any type of exfoliant you want When I don't have something like this, I usually use one by like covergirl. I like ones with kiwi in it I like ones with brown sugar in it So what I'm gonna do first Just kind of take some water And wet my face with it And then I'm gonna start exfoliating my skin this one smells really bad. I don't know what is in it that makes it smell so bad, but there's something in there that smells disgusting. I 
And then I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse that off. And then I go ahead and dry with the side of the washcloth that I didn't use when taking off my makeup. And then a face mask I do once a week, just I pick one depending on what I think my skin needs. But I'm going to use this one for tonight. It is also from the Way China thing. It's already open and this is their Golden Rue Purifying Mud Mask. I used this one last week, but I'm just gonna use it again only because um, it's already open and I just wanna, you know, use it up. So I will just paint this on my already kind of damp, ow. I will just paint this on my already kind of damp skin. I don't do the same mask every single week. I try to mix it up and just listen to my skin and let it tell me what it needs for the week. So once I have it over my whole face, I just let it sit for however long it says. This one says 10 minutes, but obviously, like I said, I'll use a different one every single week. So I'm going to let this sit for 10 minutes and I will come right back. So now that it's nice and dry, it's hard for me to talk because it's so stuck on my skin. Now I'm obviously just going to rinse it off. So I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> So once I have that taken off, I just have a few more steps. Um, I am prescribed acne medicine. I have two different ones that are prescribed. Um, and I don't really put them over my whole face anymore. I used to, it was like a every night type of thing, but now I just kind of use them if I have a pimple or if I'm about to get a pimple. So I kind of have one on my chin that is about to form. So I just take a little tiny dot and put it over where the pimple is. This one is clindamycin. And then this one is tetranonin, <clears throat> and I do both of them wherever the pimple is. And this one you tap in, you don't really rub. And then my last step is this sleeping mask. I actually just talked about this in my favorites video, but I use this basically every other night. Unless I have like really bad acne and I have to put the medicine over my whole face, then I won't use it, but that hasn't happened in a while. So I just use about this amount and I put it all over my face and it smells so good. But this has really helped me um, get rid of all my acne scars. Well, obviously not all of them, as you can still see, I have a few still, but since I've started using this, I can definitely notice that there was a decrease in the amount of acne scars I've had. And it's really made my skin so much brighter. And then I sleep with this on. I don't wash it off in the morning. And that is the last step of my skincare routine. So just one more time, the first three steps is what I do every single night before I go to bed. And then I only exfoliate twice a week and I do a mask once a week. And then the medicine and this mask I put on every single night as well. I'm sorry, every other night. And then yeah, that's it. So I just go to bed and then I'm done. So that's all that I have for you guys this time. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. That really helps me out. If you don't like the video, just click away. Don't dislike it. That's rude. Um, and yeah, that's all that I have for you guys this time. I'll see you next time. Bye.